every Tuesday night, I was hanging out with all these people in this thing called Tuesday Cafe, which was hosted on a, a MUD, a MOO, a MUD dash object oriented. Um, and that's where the t- first, I first heard the term techno rhetoric, which was coined by Eric Crump. Um, and there was a, a, a room within the MOO called the Techno Rhetoricians Bar and Grill. And so that's that's where we would usually hang out and just have these conversations about teaching with technology um, with all the people who were like the computer, they were the computers and writing field people who were really interested in doing this kind of work. And I didn't know them because I hadn't met them in person yet, but I, I got to know them virtually, which was pretty cool. You know, I was, I was learning and meeting a lot of different interesting people who had these great ideas. So when I finished my master's degree, I decided I was going to go to a conference. And, you know, this is kind of indicative of where we were at the time, too, is that my institution, they were like, well, you're just a master's student. Why would you go to a conference? Right. So they, I was getting no support from from my my institution at the time. Um, so I, I hitched a ride with somebody else who was going um, to go to Four C's. So I went to my first Four C's conference it was 1995 in the Grand Hyatt in, uh, in DuPont Circle here in Washington, D.C. Um, and that that was where it all started for me. <laughs> yeah. So I got to meet a lot of these people in person. Right. I'm like, oh, you're Scog, which was Sharon Cogdell in real life. Sharon Cogdell. Right? Or look, yeah. Marcy B. Marcy Bowen is here. Right. M. Day, Michael Day. So I started meeting all these people and I went to this uh, kind of meeting that had been called. I can't remember even if I, how I found out about it. It might have been through Michael Day. But I was um, I was also had met and spent a lot of time hanging out with and having, a you know, really good conversations and, and starting to build a, a, what I, you know, felt was like, a, I don't know, we would just seem really compatible, right? So I was spending a lot of time with Michael Salvo, um, who was at the time a master's student also finishing up. He hadn't yet gone on to Texas Tech for his PhD and hadn't, hadn't become part of Kairos yet, um, but got involved in some of those conversations that would become Kairos at this conference, I think. Um, although he can tell, you know, we'd have to ask him, he may have been in touch with some of the folks, um, doing some of that work before I, I knew about it for sure. Um, but I remember going to this big room, just, uh, you know, chairs had been made in a big circle. So people could talk about like, what are we going to, what are, how can we leverage our interest and make ourselves an interest group here at four C's and the, the group that convened was a fledgling group that they, they were calling themselves the Alliance for Computers and Writing, ACW. Uh, they started a listserv called ACWL, which was actually an extension of a Usenet news group that was originally called Megabyte University, or MBU-L. Um, and it was, it was like my introduction to all these, this great community. So yeah, I met all those people, and some of the people I met we're having a party and the people that were having the party were the people who would be the first editors of Kairos. Uh, and so I ended up going to this party. Um, remember Elizabeth Pass, uh, Amy uh, Hansen, um, who else was there? Mike Salvo came with me. Uh, Mick Doherty was there. I don't think Jason Teague was there. Um, he tended not to come to our conferences because he was not a computer. He was not a writing study scholar, right? He was a technology guy. He was a, he was more of a uh, information systems software development kind of person um, and still is. So, so I got to meet those folks and it was really interesting and I got excited about the project that they were working on. And I ended up um, publishing my very first peer reviewed article web text in issue 1.1 of Kairos. 